A really good tip to save you a lot of time when you're setting up your scene for your final render for your hero object. One thing you can do is you can select your light source of yeah, your light. Currently, you go to your object data properties. I set my color and strength. In this example, you could use point or any of these other options, but I'm going to or sun, spot, or area. But I'm going to use spot just because it's easier to tell which direction it's pointing based on this light section here. Right. So currently, when you select your object and you press G, the light isn't exactly tracking it. So if your light was, if your object was, I don't know. If your object was, a, let's say you wanted to add more light. So if you press Shift D, you put this here, you'd have to rotate this, and it's a, it, it can become a bit of a pain. So what you could do is you could select your light source, go to your object data, uh, object constraint properties, and add a constraint of here called track two. Select your object being your hero image, which is Suzanne, the monkey head, and make sure you up as Y and your track axis is negative Z. And by doing that, when you select Suzanne and you move this around, you'll notice that it tracks perfectly. The other benefit now, if you want to add a three-point light system that all um, face the hero image, which is a bit odd, but you can. You can press Shift D, duplicate this, chuck this over here, and you could say, you know what, just for fun, just for something interesting, let's make this pink. And you might go sh uh, numpad 7, Shift D, might want to add another light, and see, you know what, let's make this one orange, but we make this 5,000 watts. Anyways, I think you get the idea, the power of this saving a lot of time, how to track your light to your object. Now, this is very different. I'm done with this tip, but this is very different to, for example, getting your camera to track to your object. If you go add object constraint to say track to uh, Suzanne, and we click render view and we click on Suzanne and we press G and move. It works sometimes to a degree, but it's a bit wonky. The better way for the camera in particular from my, um, me messing about with this is to remove the track two and instead use a damp track. It's a little bit more accurate. So now when you click Suzanne and you just make this minus Z and view this over here, for whatever reason, this seems to be a lot more accurate to never lose focus no matter what you do so yeah so you'll use the track two for your light source and you'll use the damped track for your camera i hope you enjoyed this tip please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one